Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Smart Drive. This is your host Vishwajit. In today's episode, we are covering bulb replacement of this low beam projector headlight over here. And as you can see, the headlights are on. This projector is working properly. On the other hand, this has been blown out. So we will replace the bulb. There is a simple procedure and you can buy this H7 Osram or Philips bulb with the purchase links given in the description. So this is a simple process. Friends, uh, let's follow these processes step by step and you will have bulb replaced without any service cost. So uh, this is the housing for the high beam headlight for halogen and this is for low beam projector halogen. So right now projector bulb has been blown out. So we are opening this housing. So there is a plastic cap. This is quite tight place so you need to be very gentle and uh, I recommend you to not apply much force because these are water sealed has a rubber ring over here and let me show you so this has a rubber ring to make it watertight so this is the only step and uh, we just have the hooks over here which locks the housing properly this is the plastic cap now we need to move on for uh, further assembly so as we can see this is the metal clip over here and we need to remove this clip and you can see the shape so you need to uh, press and remove it like this so first and foremost we have removed the bulb housing and now you can see the bulb can move as you can see the slot over here so this slot is quite responsible for accurate bulb alignment so now we are removing this clip and we will have our bulb in hand so as you can see the filament is quite blown out and uh, this could be a reason uh, for uh, the projector not working well because uh, there is nothing else we can do for it and if there is a fuse blown out both of the low beams will be not performing well now it's time to replace the bulb So now we have purchased Philips H7 bulb. So we need 12 volt, 55 watt as a company recommended bulb for our CRs. Make sure that you are using the same specifications. Now I need to open it. The purchase links are available in the description friends. So here is Philips genuine product with us and uh, uh, this bulb stock bulb was like serviced us for six years so that was quite good performance by this stock bulb as you can see this is quite press fitted so you need to have the movements what i am currently using right now don't be so aggressive because this is press fitted thing and uh, you need to pull it wisely so now we need to match the slots carefully so this was the osram 55 watt 12 volt and now we are replacing it with philips please make sure that uh, you are not touching the glass over here in the whole process of this installment I have never touched this glass. Any minute smudge can create high temperatures with the dust and uh, you may lose your bulb earlier than expected. So first and foremost we need to try whether uh, it's working or not and then after that only we are going to install the whole housing once again. So let me start the low beam bulb. So our trial has been successfully implemented. So this ensures that you have plugged uh, proper pins. Now we are going to install this full housing once again into 
our main projector assembly so friends uh, you can see the slot in this whole process you need to be very gentle as you can see I have matched the slot properly so by middle finger I am pressing this bulb and the first finger will be used to secure the clip as you can see the clip has been secured uh, to check further we need to vibrate this clip or bulb to check whether it is installed properly or not yes it is installed properly so friends uh, right now we have uh, installed it successfully now we need to recap the whole assembly with our original plastic cap and uh, as you can see there are few slots here here and here so we need to match that and just twist the cap so here is one slot I will match it I have matched it and now just need to twist it clockwise and you can see the cap is getting bit forwarded when I was twisting the rubber seal is quite important so you will have watertight assembly over here everything is done right now so this was quite simple process and we are now uh, checking it once again whether the whole assembly is working properly or not so friends we have successfully installed our low beam projector uh, headlight bulb and uh, this quite powerful than our previous osram uh, this was costing a little bit uh, double but have 30 percent more brightness so the purchase links are available in the description uh, you need to buy it right now if you have any blown out bulb so h7 is for the headlights and the h8 is for fog lights you need to check on these links to check how to replace the fog light bulb thanks for watching this is issue signing off from smart drive if you fail to engage this clip you will have bumpy bulbs and uh, it will result in havoc let me show you please make sure that you are seal tight this properly so water can't enter into this housing